Yeah. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make the pivot point tracking uh, with the geometry nodes. Uh, this is really powerful technique and it is used in many movies. One of the best example is the Iron Man movie. They used to display the hard elements in the helmet of the Iron Man suit. So in this we are going to build that uh, with the geometry nodes and the setup is really really simple as well as the concept so let's get start so let's first track our footage so we're going to track this cat change this to location this to previous frame and normalize option scale this one and also scale this one so we have this head movement of this cat so next uh, we're going to add the empties to these trackers so you can use single track or you can use some multiple track for this pivot point tracking okay so here we're going to link the geometry which is the link empties uh, to the track so we have these empties and next we're going to also set up the background so if i enable the camera see we have this background footage so let's go to the geometry nodes now first we're going to put these uh, tracker into a new collection called the tracks so that uh, we can get the average positions uh, from these trackers so next we're going to add the plane so it can be anything like your hard elements or something else so we have this plane then we're going to add the geometry nodes modifier so let's rename this as pivot tracker modifier okay so we have this and let me hide this one next we're going to add our pivot point so let's add the pivot point so this empty as our pivot point let me bring our plane to the origin okay so which is important our plane should be at the origin and it should not have any kind of rotations okay uh, this technique work well when there is only a rotational movement of the subject and there is no camera movement so if there is a camera movement then you have to manually uh, keyframe the pivot point so that you can match uh, the head movement okay head movement in this case so uh, now we have this our pivot point so let's bring that into this setup so make this relative and next we're going to also bring our tracks make this relative and separate the children so let's make a group and we're going to call this as ks pivot tracker okay so with this we're going to build a curve which will start from the pivot point from this to the tracker okay so let's go inside this so let's bring this out this is our pivot and these are the tracks so let's add the curve object curve line change this to directions and let's connect this and this is the curve okay so this one so it will start uh, from the pivot point means from this empty and then it will point toward the these trackers so for that we have to get the average position uh, from these trackers so for that we're going to use the accumulate node change this to vector and this to instance because we are doing this for the instances at the position it will give the total position means sum of all the positions and if we divide this position by the total number of instances we will get the average position okay so let's divide this so let's put this in a frame so this is our average position from the tracks average position from tracks okay next we have to calculate the direction so we're going to subtract the pivot position uh, from the this average position that will give the direction which will point from this pivot point toward the trackers then we have to normalize this after that we have to sample this position for this node so we're going to add the sample index node okay 
change this to vector and this to instance and for the index we're going to use the last index of the this list this track list so we can get this by subtracting one from the total number of instances so this is our last index now we have this direction so let's plug that into this see our curve is pointing toward the tracks see it is passing through the center of these two tracks now if i move one of the track outside this collection now it's pointing only to one of the track so that's why it is important to get the average uh, location so this is the length of the curve so let's put that outside from this group okay so now we have completed our first node it will give the a curve which is pointing toward the tracks and start from this pivot point okay so let me rename this collection as tracks this as pivot okay also we're going to do this inside this node this is our pivot and this is tracks uh, next we're going to build the pivot instance node so that we can instance our hard elements or any other kind of element onto this curve so let's add the c to point node change this to evaluated and after that we're going to add the instance on points node so let's plug this geometry to the instance and then this to the output so now we have these two planes we can also connect this rotation to the rotation so they are pointing correctly here we can add the rotate euler node so that we can rotate our plane or the element before this we can also add the trim node so that uh, we can offset this okay so for this case we don't need the last plane so we can add the equal node here and then add the index here type one so now we are only adding the plane at the end of this curve which is defined by this node okay however you can add many elements as you want like let me disable this one see so here you can control the number of elements if you want or you can only keep the last one so it is up to you so let's put this in a group let's output these inputs offset rotation and this is our scale okay so this is the scale you can also uh, add the switch node between the counts and the evaluated count and here we can duplicate this one or uh, disconnect this selection and plug this as the points and here we can add the switch node this to the false and this to the true so if you want multiples uh, sorry we have to connect this rotation to this so you have single you have multiples so let's also output this one so this is the switch and this is the count okay so let's name this as single slash multiple and this is the count so this is the second note now we have this option for single or multiple so let's rename this as ks pivot instances so let's output this one first it's going to be single count offset and then angle and scale we're going to change this end to as offset also here so now our modifier is complete see we have multiple option you can offset this you can rotate this and we can change the scale so now let's go to the camera view and if I go to the wireframe see if we play this video plane is moving but we have to place this 
pivot at the right location so if you have information about the distance you can basically add that here or you can roughly eyeball the location so that it match the head movement so first we have to bring something like here so first uh, let's find the frame where this is pointing this cat is facing the camera now we can place this pivot directly near to the neck of this cat something like there yeah and i think we have to change this y location let's see the movement let me decrease the size of this I think we have to make this location smaller that now let's move this plane near to this cat something like there yeah I think it is fine so in this way you can roughly find the sweet spot for this pivot point so that it match the head movement so these are the basically the eyes of the cat and this is the position of the neck we can also slightly move closer to the eyes something like there yeah it's working fine so now let's add our different element so we're going to use a different hard element So we have this hard element so let's first clear it is location and a rotation alt r and alt z now it is at the world center then we're going to apply the geometry node modifier and here we're going to add this pivot tracker modifier see it is automatically placed correctly according to this pivot point and let me disable for previous plane let's adjust it is material change this to material mode so here basically we're going to add the alpha based on the color of this footage so let's adjust this color ramp something like that and this around seven also add bloom yeah so let's see and let me disable this viewport denoising see it is working perfectly yeah here we can slightly adjust our pivot point something like there yeah so now we can add multiples i think it is too many maybe a uh, five You can also adjust uh, the this start position okay so let's also bring that out and let's also add this to this uh, to the modifier panel and let's rename this as and because now we have both these inputs now it makes sense start or end so here you can basically define this you know you have these multiple elements so this is our first node and this is our second node okay so this is it i hope you learned something from this video you can get this project file and all my assets and previous project files from my patreon page so see you in the next video happy noting bye